For men and women experiencing domestic violence, the workplace can become a sanctuary. Yet most businesses don't have specific policies to help those suffering at home. A Brisbane-based organisation is now helping to change that. In boardrooms across Brisbane, barriers are being broken down. This subject has not been spoken about for a very long time. One a taboo topic, domestic violence is finally on the agenda for corporate Australia. We've been knocking on a lot of doors and now the doors are open. Jackie Tucker runs training for Australia's CEO Challenge, a Brisbane-based not-for-profit that offers workshops on how to recognise if colleagues are experiencing domestic violence, how to respond and who to refer to. If you see somebody with marks around their neck, it's a red flag. If someone has got to the point where they are taking their hands and putting it around someone's neck, we've got a real, real issue. One in three Australian women experience violence in their lifetime. Two thirds of them are employed. Today's training is at law firm Minter Ellison, proving this crisis doesn't discriminate according to pay packets. It's an issue that cuts across all levels of society. Managing partner Bill Thompson says the decision to do the training was simple. Ensuring that our colleagues um, feel and are safe uh, both at work and at home. An example for the rest of the business sector to follow. They have a huge opportunity to contribute to not only supporting employees but giving back in the community and breaking down barriers. And Network 10 is proud to support the Darkness to Daylight Run, an event honouring victims of domestic violence. To be involved or to donate, just go to the website on screen. Thousands of people across Queensland have paused to remember the women, children and men killed every year by people they love. A moving candlelight vigil at South Bank was followed by a 110 kilometre run, raising money for domestic violence support services. Candles to remember the victims, lit by those who'll never forget. Beautiful, kind, compassionate and loved by so many. Among hundreds at South Bank, the mother of murdered Gold Coast mum, Tara Brown. At that tender age of 24 years, Tara was taken by an outrageous and selfish act of domestic violence. On average, 110 Australians die every year from domestic and family violence. One, two, three, let's go and change the world. In the dark, more than a thousand Queenslanders ran and walked in their honour. 110 painful kilometres, one for every victim. In teams and as individuals, they didn't stop until the sun rose. I mean, the main thing that kept me going was reminding myself all the time why we were running. The event raised a record $111,000 for Australia's CEO Challenge, a Brisbane-based not-for-profit providing support services and awareness programs. Acting CEO Jackie Lackman believes the promising result shows a light is finally being shone on a national shame. It says to me that the message is getting out. It says to me that we're breaking that silence that has surrounded domestic violence. From 300 participants last year to more than 1,500 overnight, Queensland is saying enough is enough. And anyone needing help in times of crisis can ring DV Connect on 1800 811 811 at any time.